So uh, this is a lamp. This is what it looks like. This is the power switch. This is the mode button. Red, green, blue. That's kind of hard to see on the webcam. Um, here you have the MIDI port and an audio port on the back there, the little uh, headphone jack. So if you turn it on, there's uh, four modes you can cycle through. That's the default mode. Basically it's just red, green, blue so you turn the knob and you can sort of create any color which comes out atrocious on the webcam. Oh well. It's kind of a nice purple. And here you have like a cool like teal and whatever. Then the next mo mode is uh, sort of a color cycler. You can control the uh, speed at which the colors cycle automatically. You can control the uh, intensity, or I should say, sorry, the luminosity. You can control how bright the lamp is. And you can control the saturation as well. So if you kind of want like less, you know, more of a gray color and less uh, intense color swings, you can control how intense you want the color to be, how deep you want it to be. Now it's like really deep and if it goes really shallow then you can see that it's kind of like just white and it gets gray and slight color tinges and stuff and of course you can control the speed so um, you can make it really slow on the slowest mode it actually goes it changes colors like once every three minutes or something like that very 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 slowly um, the two other modes I'm going to demonstrate separately the next one is MIDI mode which when you play on the piano it plays notes and it shows up in the lamp and uh, audio mode which is uh, which I'll also so show separately. <clears throat> All right. So the idea the idea here is that uh, MIDI signal can control the lamp. So here I've got a piano hooked up into some stuff through the computer, and basically it's going through the lamp. So if I hit a note, the lamp lights up, and this is not going through audio. It's uh, really it's a digital signal, so you know it, it responds to velocity as well. So the harder I smash, the harder I smash, the the more it lights up picks random colors. Anyway, so you can play some stuff and it uh, it's pretty fun to play with. So here's the audio processing part. It's connected uh, through just a regular audio jack, a mini jack, like a headphone jack, into the lamp, and it uh, the lamp performs uh, real-time processing on the signal to determine the frequency of the signal. So the medium frequencies show up as green, and the higher frequencies show up as blue, and then when you go into the low frequency, it shows up as red. So uh, I'll show you what that sounds like with music.
Alright, so this is audio processing on a guitar. <laughs> Only it seems like the movie's too slow. Sorry, so you can see that the uh, that the, uh, the the regular guitar comes out in the mids. But if you pitch shift, <laughs> you come down to the low frequency, so. And you can do the opposite as well. It doesn't really show on the webcam. Cool with a delay too. <laughs>